Stacey Ben, I'm here with Governor Ron DeSantis, as they said, fresh off the debate stage. But who wasn't on the debate stage tonight was Donald Trump. He spent a lot of time kind of going back and forth with Nikki Haley. Do you think your performance tonight was enough to overtake both Nikki Haley and Donald Trump in Iowa? Look, we were able to do what um, I think that Iowans want to see, articulate a vision for leadership, uh, but also hold accountable uh, both Nikki Haley and Donald Trump. But we did do that uh, at the appropriate times. Um, you know, I think you have a contrast. I've done all 99 counties. You know, we've worked really hard in this state because I think that's what you have to do. You know, Nikki Haley, when she's in another state, says Iowa's votes need to be corrected. I don't think Iowans need to be corrected. Uh, I think they take pride in this process. Uh, we also were able to talk about a lot of the things that she was talking about. I've already done this stuff. You know, I did universal school choice. She did not. Kim Reynolds did here in Iowa, of course, has endorsed me. Uh, so I think it was a contrast. But but I really represent uh, a candidate running on bold colors, uh, focusing on putting the interests of the American people first. She's really running on pale pastels, kind of the warmed over corporatism, U.N. style republicanism that our voters have moved away from. Uh, that's not what they want anymore. And I think you saw that contrast. Governor, you know, obviously the debate was with Nikki Haley and I hear you talking a lot about the contrast between you and her right there. But do you need to be talking more about the contrast between you and Donald Trump in order to do well in well, we Iowa? We were able to do do that. Remember, they, they talked about Donald Trump saying he was going to send in federal resources to go after the inner city crime. He was president during the BLM riots. He did not go ahead and take care of those riots. We were telling him, you have every right to do it. He was tweeting law and order to do that. We were able to hold them accountable for that and talk about that. Also, some of the COVID authoritarianism that started under his watch with Dr. Fauci, that was wrong. We're going to bring a reckoning for that. And the fact that, you know, we have this terrible immigration crisis and that... If he had built the border wall, Biden would not have been able to bring in 8 million people. So, so we were able to do that. I do think, though, it's you need to be on the stage. He thumbed his nose at the people of Iowa. He did a town hall here on another network because he didn't want to debate. He doesn't. He doesn't go out and do events where he takes questions from people. He'll swoop in. He'll give a speech and he'll leave. Um, that's not, I think, the type of things that Iowans expect. You've got to earn this nomination. The fact that he's not been willing to debate the whole time. Uh, I think Iowans think you got to get up there. You got to get under the lights. You got to take the hostile fire, and you got to be able to defend your record. Governor, really quickly, just a reaction to the breaking news that. Chris Christie dropped out of the race. Uh, what are your reaction to that? Well, obviously he was not even coming to Iowa, so it's not, I don't think it's going to make much of an impact here in the caucus. Um, but I do think in New Hampshire he had a following. Uh, you know, we're going to be in Iowa all the way through the caucus. I'm going to fly to New Hampshire that night and then be in New Hampshire all the way through the primary. Uh, so we'll be competing, uh, I think, for his voters over there. And uh, you know, I think hopefully we'll have a, a good wind at our back coming out of here. Well, Governor thank DeSantis, you. thank you so much for taking time to join us appreciate tonight. We appreciate you. it.